Today I am in Memphis, Tennessee, and I am at Graceland. <laughs> oh my god, this is so exciting. I'm so happy to be here right now. Um, I'm about to go inside and get my ticket. We have a reservation for 12.15. It is 11.43 a.m. right now. My friend Michelle is with me and she's inside uh, finding out about our tickets. Um, it is very windy today, so I'm gonna do my best to, you know, cover up all the noise, but if you do hear a lot of wind, I'm really sorry about that. Um, they do not allow video inside of the mansion, so um, you're only gonna see video of what I am allowed to record. The rest, I will provide pictures, but yay! <laughs> Welcome to Graceland. All right, so here's a ticket area. It's where you pick up your ticket or you can buy your tickets. This picture here of Elvis and Lisa Marie. There's, there's Michelle. Michelle, say hi. And then here's Elvis right here in front of his house. All right, I'm gonna go get my ticket. Okay, so we got our tickets. <laughs> so exciting. And then there's um, what is this? Looks like a, a map or something. And then look at that picture behind us. Oh my God, so cool. So um, I guess there's a pre-show. I'm seeing a sign right there that says pre-show. There's a welcome to my world over there. I guess it's a shop. And that's it. That's all we know so far. And there's a diner right here, Gladys's Diner, which that's his mom's name, isn't it? Yeah, Gladys. <laughs> all right, we're so excited. Picture. All right, so this picture right here is just me taking a picture of the front door from the inside looking out. Here you can see the hallway and a little bit of the living room. This is the living room right here. And on the right, you'll see a 15 foot couch. It was not a sectional, it was a one piece. Um, towards the back is the music room and Elvis liked to sit in his nine foot piano and play for his guests. Those peacocks were actually picked out by him. That's the other side of the living room. And this next picture is Elvis when he was 22 years old. That portrait was made around the same time that he purchased the house. The house was actually purchased um, March 25th, 1957. That is the staircase going up to Elvis's room and out of respect for Elvis. It is a private, uh, it's a private area. No one is allowed up there. It's the way that he liked it when he was alive so till this day no one's been up there Ex you know there is exceptions there's been at least five people up there so i don't have the exact number 
That's just looking again towards the front of that, the front door. This is Elvis's parents' room. Um, this next picture is the closet with all of Gladys's things left intact. And this is another picture showing you the room. And this is the bathroom. I believe the wallpaper was designed by Gladys. Um, what else can I say? Oh, this is here is um, the dining room area, which still has Elvis and Priscilla Presley's wedding china on the table. There was a swivel television in this room because Elvis loved to watch television. So you would see at least one to three sometimes televisions in every room. That's just another angle. I believe the house was um, built in 1939. Elvis bought it from another couple. And so the name Graceland actually was given by the people that used to live there. Now this is the kitchen. For some reason that area was blocked off, but one thing I found really interesting was the carpet on the floor. I don't think I've ever seen a kitchen with carpet before. In this room, you'll also see the very first microwave that was purchased in Memphis and was purchased for $653. And on this next picture, you'll see the home security system as well as two phones. One was an outside line, the other one was just a regular line. And there's the home security system, like I was saying. And here's just another picture of the room. And in this room, I believe Elvis liked to record because of the carpet and the ceiling, which he got the idea from California. And it was just a good room to, um, to record. And he also liked to have breakfast in this room. And then this is us heading downstairs to where I believe is now going to be the, the bar area. Yeah, so here's the bar. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes trying to find this information. Okay, here we go. I believe they call that the infinity stairs before. Um, and then you can see there, oh, in this area too, you can see the TCB lightning bulb right there on the right. And this room is also helped designed by Linda Thompson. And there's just another angle with the three televisions. And there you can see them better. Very cool room, by the way. I believe he had 24 hours kitchen staff. Um, I'm just looking at my notes here and reading things off to you guys. Um, this next room here is, oh, I love this room. I don't know what this room was called, but it, um, it was actually designed with 750 yards of fabric in the walls and on the ceiling, and it took 10 days to finish. Super cool. Also, the couches have the same fabric. And um, what else? I don't know. I think that's it. I don't have any more information on this room right now. But just very, very cool room. I think this one and the next one are my favorite. And the next one I'm trying to find in my notes here would be considered, or this one is called the jungle room. And it's because of its decoration. It was given the name. And Elvis loved to go to Hawaii. So it has that Hawaii feel to it. I believe also his last two recordings were done in this room. There's also an artificial waterfall over to the left-hand side that you are not looking at right now. <laughs> right there, you can see it. As well as that couch all the way straight back. I believe that was Lisa Marie's Presley's favorite couch. I think I read that somewhere. Um, and yeah, so just a couple more pictures from this room. The jungle room. This house was so cool, by the way. I was not expecting to see all this. Um, now we're going to be heading outside where you're going to see Vernus's office. You're going to see a room with all of Elvis's things, you know, like artifacts and stuff. Um, this is a picture here of the back of the house. 
and that is Lisa Marie Presley's swing set, which I believe Elvis shot. You can see a hole in the slide. I totally didn't know that, so I didn't take a picture of it. This is Vernus's office, Elvis's dad's office, where he kept all his supplies and would do all, all his work here. They also kept all his all of Elvis's um, fan mail and art mail, like like portraits such as these that you're looking at right now. And there's just another picture. Um, this is the smokehouse. It was used for a shooting range as well as storage. And Elvis liked to shoot from the backyard balcony into the smokehouse. And those are some bullets and casings that were found. Um, uh, let's see what else. I'm trying to get ahead of myself. The building was part of Graceland's farm well before Elvis owned Graceland. That's just another picture of the back of the house. And then me and Michelle, and I believe this, I didn't even take a, I didn't show the picture of us going into this building, but that's Elvis's bicycle when he was little. And in this room is where you'll see all his artifacts. That's a picture of Elvis with his parents. That is his birth certificate. Um, let me see what else. Sorry, I'm trying to read my notes here. Uh, that's the family tree. That's what the room looked like. There was three sections like that. On each side, you'll see all kinds of different things such as this. This is a remote control that was in Elvis's bedroom. Every television in his room was a RCA except for the one in his room. This is his leather wallet that you're gonna see next. There it is right there. Um, I had a lot of pictures from this room, but I didn't want to post every single one. Here's one of the RCA televisions that Elvis had um, because it would have made for a very long video. So I only chose a few pictures from this room. That's Lisa Marie Presley's crib. Um, that's Elvis's desk. Um, and then this was already outside. This is the pool. Now this is the racquetball room where not only Elvis liked to play racquetball, but he also liked to sit around with his friends and play music. There was a bar here as well. Um, this is a section where he would sit and there's the piano. And that is the last time where Elvis played music before he passed away. He sang Unchained Mel Melody and Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. That's one of his racket balls and racket. Um, there's another angle of the room. There's the piano. And you can see the court right there. And then now we're heading over to the meditation garden.
Recent, right? For Lisa Marie. Yeah, Lisa Marie Presley. Wow. So there's the house from across the street. The famous gates, which you can't even barely see them. Right, kind of right there on the right. And this is where all the women would come and sign their name and leave their phone numbers. Um, I don't know if you know the story, but. Elvis used to live here. There was a girl that left her name and number, and then eventually, I guess Gladys got upset his mom and told Elvis to tell those girls to stop leaving their phone numbers written on the wall. So eventually, Elvis called one of them, and then of course, the girls didn't care. That's all. All they heard was Elvis just called me. <laughs> And they told their friends and it just kind of became a thing and girls would come and leave their name and phone number in hopes that Elvis would call them as well. So I went ahead and crossed the street. You can see Elvis right there. That's so cool. I don't think I've ever seen that or noticed that before. And then the other one on this side. Let me uh, move over. God, look at all the names that people have left over the years. Oh yeah, this one also. Let's check it out. And people have also written all over the ground. But yeah, check this out. Wow. I don't have anything to write my name on, but how cool. Wow, that's insane, all the names. I uh, came over to the other side now. And I noticed this. How cool is that? I wonder how they made that. all the different names. All over the ground. Help us believe in that. And then all over this wall as well. And you can see the house over here. to do the tour again but you can't just tour the house by itself you have to pay the $79 that I already paid before 
so you get to see everything and I don't want to see everything again I just want it to go do the house but it is what it is I decided to opt out what do we have here <sighs> erected August 16th 1982 by the Elvis Presley International Memorial Foundation in Shelby County government oh I guess there is something written behind all this but you can't see it because of all the signatures but I can barely read it I'm trying to read what it says but I can't <laughs> that's terrible it written all over it you can't see anything yeah oh well I don't remember what it actually said I'm trying to see if I can read it I see Gladys Presley he moved uh, to Memphis in 1948. I don't know. I can't read it, guys. I'm going to try to find a picture of it before it looked like this and post that instead. But I'm going to go down the wall here. My goodness. I want to sign my name too, but I don't have anything to write with. Okay, this kind of goes on and on and on. As you can see, I don't really want to walk all the way over there, but um, it is cool to see it up close. Last time I came to the house, I wasn't able to see all of this because once we got, once we were done touring the house, we had to wait to get back on the bus, that bus right there, and then they drove us back to this side where all of his like clothes and memorabilia and the planes as you can see there's the Lisa Marie right there so <clears throat> all of that was done after you tour the house so you come over here first you tour the house you come out you take pictures in front of the house but then the lady didn't let didn't allow us to come out here so I came for a second time to be able to show you this because I mean how do you come to Elvis's house and not see the famous gates and stuff I just noticed this. These are so cool. They're like stamps. Child House Report. There's this face right there too. Can I have a closer to this? Put your phone on the wall. It's a statue of Elvis. Hey guys, so we just made it back to the hotel. It is 5.55 p.m. and we left here this morning at 11.25 a.m. Insane. Um, oh my gosh, so it started to pour when we were trying to see Elvis's planes. So uh, it was just a mess, like towards the end, not, you know, trying not to get wet. And um, uh, anyways, um, I would recommend that if you ever get a chance to come to Memphis to go to Graceland, there is so much to see, so much more that I'm gonna be able to show you here with this video. Um, I have done the best that I could with editing and providing pictures, but video 
is really not allowed at all. I mean, I even got yelled at for recording outside of the house and I was like, oh, sorry. I thought like when you're outside, it would be okay. But um, yeah, I don't think it's allowed at all, but I've seen videos before. So I just figured that it would be okay. Um, so yeah, I totally recommend going because there's so much to see. I mean, you would, you can literally spend all day there with everything that there is, but um, amazing. I mean, that house alone, I, I would have just been happy seeing the house. What an incredible house. I can't imagine living there and wow. Anyway, so I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Um, hopefully I've done a good job for you <laughs> and showing you around Graceland. Um, the only thing I'm sad about is that I never got a chance to go in front of the house and get video of like the famous gate and where everybody signs their name and everything. Um, they never really like, they never told us when we were able to go there. So my plan was to go after the whole tour was over, but then of course it was raining. So um, I didn't get a chance to do that. So I'm a little bummed out about that. So maybe next time I can get footage of um, in front of the, the gates and everything, but either way, um, thanks again so much for watching. Um, we'll see you next, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Take care. Bye. <laughs>